New Year's. It is New Year's Eve and as you can tell I'm home and it's very much a quiet evening. Um, Kayla and I are downstairs. She's doing her own thing. I'm watching Dick Clark um, New Year's celebration on TV. Kristen's in a room. The hubby's in his room. Well, our room. Um, he has shingles so he hasn't been feeling like himself. It is like right here his shingles and it feels like someone is stabbing his head and his brain so he's in pain half the time but he's on medication so hopefully he'll be feeling better pretty soon this has been going on probably just about right after Christmas so anyway um, yeah well anyway about his shingles he went to his doctor I think on Thursday because I said you better get it checked it checked out it hurts I'm like I don't know what rash would hurt you he went to the doctor and she's like oh it's just probably like poison ivy and we're like poison ivy okay like she just gave him like some penicillin cream to rub on it and then by Friday morning no by Saturday morning which was his birthday it was getting worse so we decided to I'm like okay you better go to the urgent care and get a second opinion because I used to go to his doctor but I don't anymore because I think they're quacks I don't like them so cuz they mix misdiagnose things all the time and they have bad Yelp reviews but anyway so right at the bat he went to urgent care uh, we went to care now they're super friendly super nice and he loved it right off the bat they're like you have shingles he's like what and so they prescribed him some um, ibuprofen um, 800 milligrams to help with the pain and some other medicine for I believe infection or something like that but he's getting better slowly he is and so right now it's New Year's Eve I brought I bought some poppers but we're probably going to end up popping it tomorrow morning probably sometime on New Year's Day and right now I made some lumpia well, they are pork lumpia actually I didn't make it it's actually my Christmas gift every year my friend she gives me lumpia for Christmas because she knows I absolutely love it because she is an amazing cook. She should really have her own business. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Probably because I don't have anybody to talk to right now. But anyway, I hope you all, 2020, I just hope you all have a great New Year's and all your dreams and all your aspirations. I hope everything, everything come true. So have a great New Year's and I will see you in my next video.